There are those who fought it tooth and nail to preserve the status quo. And Let's roll back all the Wall Street reforms that we fought tooth and nail to pass over the objections of lobbyists and special interests in Washington. How can it be that the only time there's a catch is when it comes to raising taxes on middle class families? How can you fight tooth and nail to protect high-end tax breaks for the wealthiest Americans and yet barely lift a finger to prevent taxes going up for 160 million Americans who really need the help? It doesn't make sense. How can you fight tooth and nail to protect high-end tax breaks for the wealthiest Americans and yet barely lift a finger to prevent taxes going up for 160 million Americans who really need the help? It doesn't make sense. Status quo where billions of dollars were going to banks instead of students. And, and they wanted to protect that. They wanted to keep those dollars. And and I have to tell you, uh, there were folks in Washington who fought us tooth and nail because they wanted to protect. And there were folks in Washington who fought tooth and nail to protect the status quo. I'm the first to admit, I, I got to be careful here because, you know, uh, I'm, you know, just barely can hammer a, <laughs> a nail into the wall. And my wife's not impressed with my skills uh, when it comes to fixing up the house. As Christians, we place our faith in the nail scarred hands of Jesus Christ. The same folks who fought tooth and nail four years ago and tried to make political hay out of Obamacare, they're still telling tall tales about its impact. A lot of special interests who liked the system just the way it was fought us tooth and nail. Just because we have the best hammer does not mean that every problem is a nail.